In many school districts, students are swept up in what could be called Stanley Cup fever. Stanley Cups are those insulated beverage containers and are all the rage these days. But some say the trend may be adding to problems at schools. Take, for example, what happened at Southwest Elementary School in Williston. A fourth grade girl allegedly hit a teacher in the head with a Stanley Cup. Ray Garcia is chief deputy with the Fayette County Sheriff's Office. Definitely, anytime uh, you're, you're looking at something being used potentially as a weapon like that uh, and, and not knowing the level of injury, of injury uh, again, we still don't know what happened, how badly uh, the teacher was injured or, or what led up to this. After the fight where Stanley Cup was used, the sheriff's office says the principal was arrested for refusing to provide authorities with information regarding the incident and statements given to her from the student witnesses. And back in December, we showed video taken inside a Houston High School restroom where a student appears to use a metal tumbler to hit another student in the head. Now there are questions surrounding the cups and whether they should be allowed in school. We reached out to several school districts about their policies, but didn't hear back. The sheriff's office did weigh in on a possible ban. I don't think that that's the case. In fact, uh, I don't even know at this point if, if that was a cup that belonged to a student or a teacher. Uh, so, so we're just not sure, but uh, I think our bigger issue is just finding out what happened. And keeping students and teachers safe. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. All right, well, WREG reached, received, that is, a statement from Fayette County Public Schools Superintendent about this fight, and Dr. Versi Hamlet says, quote, as a district, we will be transparent and cooperate fully with law enforcement. We also contacted Stanley Cups for a comment on this story, but we have not heard back from them.